Hi and welcome to another installment of the hybrid drumming column for Rhythm Magazine. So today we're going to talk about using inbuilt effects. So this might be something that you guys have dabbled with already on your travels, um, or if not, then obviously we'll, we'll be running through it today. So what I've done is prepared a few simple one drop reggae grooves. And what we're going to be doing is, is using a cross stick and a timbale um, sound layered over our snare drum. And then we're going to apply a delay to that and a reverb as well. So we're going to be using the TM6 Pro to do that today. So let's get stuck in. So the first thing that I need to do, of course, is just assign the sound. So I'm using a dual snare drum trigger here. So we've talked in the past about mono versus stereo. So of course the mono would give me just one sound from the trigger, whereas the stereo in this case allows me to get a different sound from the head of the drum and the rim, which we've discussed in previous sessions. So on the stereo trigger, I've put a cross stick sound on the rim, of course. So if I give the trigger hit, there you go, you can hear that, um, that cross stick. And then if I hit the snare drum on the head, I've assigned a timbale sound. Okay, now what we need to do, of course, is apply our effects. So on the TM6 Pro, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head into pad effects, and then you've got loads of options here like EQ and compression and stuff like that. We're gonna go into multi effects and find our delay. So I've already got it set on um, time control delay, but actually there's loads. So we've got, you know, just standard delay, reverse delay, pan, etc. So we've got like five, six delays there, and then we've got tons and tons of, um, of effects that we can use. So the reason we're gonna go with our time control delay is it allows us to actually select a subdivision that it's gonna play back at. So for instance, so let's get this turned on first. So if we just turn that effect on, then we should, there we go, we can hear the delay. So head to the click, so I've got it set at 140. Turn that on, and it's gonna play us our quarter note triplet subdivision that I've dialed in. And that's really easy to change, of course, if we just head back into that, um, that menu there, then we can actually go through and choose, you know, eighth notes, quarter notes, sixth all sorts. So quarter note triplets is what we're gonna go with today. So that's gonna make our, um, our groove sound really cool. But of course, what we're missing is a nice bit of reverb. So what we're gonna to do to do that is rather than head into pad effects, we're gonna to go to kit effects. Now that's gonna apply, you know, as the name suggests, that's gonna apply the effect to all the triggers or all the pads that you've got plugged in. Um, you know, sort of a, a blanket coverage, if you like, across the whole kit, and then we can dial in each element um, to our choosing, which we'll do in a second. Whereas the pad effect is just gonna apply solely to that, that one trigger or that one pad. So kit effects, reverb, and then again, we've got a nice choice of, you know, plates and halls and room reverbs and stuff. So if we just go with a hall, um, hall one, and then you can see that it's turned on, obviously we can just turn it on and off there, but what we need to do with this one is actually send the sound to it, you know, as, as much as we want. So for instance, I've got a bass drum trick here as well. So I hit the bass and maybe if I want a little bit of reverb, you know, on that kick drum, I can just dial it in. There we go. So let's just go mega reverb just for demonstration. Woo! And there it is. So I'm gonna dial that back a little bit. There we go, I like that. Um, and so now if I hit my um, timbale, I hit the head, there we go. And then again, dial it in. I think we're gonna, we're gonna swamp this. There we go, even more, I think. Lovely, and then the rim click. You can see it changing to the rim of pad two, which is where I've got my dual trigger plugged into. And then we'll go, we'll go right up again. 
There we go. So now our groove. A little bit more reverb on the kick. There we go. So we've got our effects dialed in. So now we can just play through the reggae examples that I've given you. So here's example one. In exercise two, we're just going to add an extra cross stick at the end. Obviously, we're using triplets, so it's going to be on the, the last partial, on the let, if you like, of four. Um, so one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So here it is at 100 beats per minute. And here's number two at the full 140. For exercise three, we're going to add another cross stick position. So the rhythm will now sound like this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Okay, so here it is at 100 BPM. And here it is at the full 140. For the final one drop example, we're going to move the last cross stick to the middle partial. So we're actually going to be playing a quarter note triplet, which will line up with the delay that we've set as well. So the rhythm of the cross stick pattern for number four is going to be one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Here we go. Here it is at 100 beats per minute. And here it is at the full 140. On paper, these examples are pretty straightforward, um, but in reality, when we're adding the two and four hi-hat accent particularly, it can throw your coordination off. So my advice would be to start without the accents and of course start at a slow tempo. Um, you know, get to grips of course with the, with the effects, which is the main thing for today's lesson. Um, and then just really try and get those two and four accents in for that more sort of authentic skank feel. So I hope you've enjoyed the lesson today and I'll look forward to seeing you at the next one.